Philly mob boss Ralph Natal is talking tonight, promoting his new book and blasting some local wise guys. Natal was the first mob boss to turn government witness. His new book is called Last Don Standing. As Fox 29's Dave Schratweiser reports, Natal has some unkind words, I guess you could say, for the local mobsters he turned on, especially reputed mob boss Joey Merlino. It was a rainy Friday in South Philadelphia outside the Philadelphia mob's newest clubhouse at 9th and Catherine. Oh my God, what a joke they met out of a great family. The guy on the phone is former Philly mob boss Ralph Natal, speaking to us from somewhere in America about the mob and his new book, The Last Don Standing. Natal says the book was his wife's idea. And she said, you know, I know everything about you. But that ain't everything, she said. That's why the 80-something-year-old Natal says he did the book. He's the first mob boss to ever become a government witness. And now he's telling tales about the likes of Jimmy Hoffa, former heavyweight champion Sonny Liston, and former Philadelphia mob boss Angelo Bruno. Natal says it was Bruno and New York wise guy Carlo Gambino who inducted him into the mob. We went there, we cut our fingers. We put the blood together, the three of us. I never felt better and stronger in my life. Joey had a little ceremony, made me. He said, now you're the boss. I said, okay, good. You are the boss. Natal goes on in the book to talk about his relationship with the infamous Jimmy Hoffa, who disappeared without a trace in July 1975. Jimmy Hoffa was the, one of the finest men I've ever met. And a man's man. Okay. Never broke his word. Johnny Lester. Natal also described in his book how mob bosses across the country followed an inside tip and bet against heavyweight champ Sonny Liston in a shocking 1964 upset loss to Cassius Clay, boxing great Muhammad Ali. The biggest legitimate score that the mob ever made was with Sonny Liston. Natal turned down our request for an in-person interview or a live interview over the internet, his people citing safety and scheduling issues. Natal and I go back almost 20 years when he first became the boss here in Philadelphia. And he said things like this. I know if I was in trouble or in a, in a fox, I'd like to be with Joe Merlino. All right. He turned out to be the biggest, one of the biggest mistakes I've ever made in my life. He was a liar, a coward. Natal claims he became a government witness because mob boss Joey Merlino betrayed a promise that when Natal went to prison, he would take care of his wife, Lucia. He never paid a dime to him. He never sent an envelope, but he never even, never came to see my wife. Natal had no problem weighing in on the current state of affairs of the local mob. The return of half a dozen Scarfo gangsters to Philadelphia after decades in prison, and who he thinks should be the boss of the local mob. There's no mob in the city, in the city, right now. They're not breaking eyes anywhere. Let's talk about the Scarfo guys. They're all good men. They did their time. I don't know if they're, they went to work. They got the right numbers. I don't. I wish them all well. Do you think the Merlino crew? And the Scarfo crew could ever coexist together or get along together? No, no, I don't, I don't think so. Two They're diff different kind of guys. Joe Ciccolini, he should be the boss to pull it up if he was a mob. And the aging former mob boss didn't miss a beat when we asked about several unsolved mob hits the FBI is investigating, like the murders of Ron Turchi, Tony Tora, and Dutchy Avacoli. They were afraid of Ronnie Turchi. He you know, was a very dangerous guy, you know. And Tony yeah. Tora, same thing with Tony? He, he was caught on a, on a tape saying that he wanted to kill Joey. What about Dutchy Avacoli? What about that? They took him for a ride up in North Jersey, and he never came home, Dutchy. They think Ralph Natal exaggerates, makes things up, and in some cases, lies. Everything I said happened. They got away with murder. They got away with everything. God bless them. Natal had one final comment about the local wise guys. They, they didn't take care of me, and I don't give a damn about that. For Fox 29 Investigates, I'm Dave Schratweiser.